blessings blessing everyone blessings from eat good tv sizzling savoring little is much with all in it today we are making jerk barbecue spare ribs the ribs is washed with lemon and vinegar so i'm just removing the membrane i'm just removing this outer skin you just pull it and remove it And this is what you need for your dry jerk rub. Half cup of brown sugar. Half teaspoon of chili powder. Half teaspoon of black pepper. One tablespoon of complete seasoning. One tablespoon of dry jerk seasoning. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon of paprika one tablespoon of parsley and this is pimento allspice so one tablespoon of pimento allspice and one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning and this is dry onion flakes one tablespoon of dry onion flakes and i'm just gonna mix them all together and put the meat to marinate with them So this is our dry marinade and we're going to put it on the both side of the meat. And you can, and oil, you can put a little tablespoon of oil on it for it to adhere to the meat. But the meat is wet because I just wash it with some lemon and vinegar. So I just put the dry jerk on it. And I'm gonna put it on the both side and then I wrap it in foil paper and let it stay overnight because overnight is best so I'm doing it on both sides you can use like a half like a tablespoon of olive oil or any oil of your choice but because the meat is wet it adheres to it properly and stick to it because the meat just wash with lemon and vinegar you the both side both pieces so it's nice and seasoned they call the seasoning and then we're gonna make the jerk sauce it, but I'm gonna wrap this and leave it overnight. And this is how it should look, and the rub smell wonderful. It's on both sides, so you're just gonna make a pouch for it. And just put it in a pouch and just leave it in your fridge overnight just make an enclosed enclosed pouch for it and just leave it in the fridge overnight and that's it you just the both of them and put it in the fridge overnight The ribs is cooked for an hour and a half, so I remove it from the foil paper. So I'm gonna make the barbecue jerk sauce for the ribs. So the ribs is cooked for an hour and a half. I'm gonna put it back in the oven for a half an hour on 350 degree oven for half an hour. But I'm gonna make the jerk sauce to put on it. So these are the ingredients we need for the jerk sauce. We need one large onion, 
one scotch bonnet pepper, three scallion, one cup brown sugar. This is allspice and we need one tablespoon of allspice. We need one tablespoon of honey. We need quarter cup of molasses. We need two, this is two, two tomato. I have two tomato in here. And this is apple cider vinegar and water. One cup of vinegar is inside of the blender. One cup of sugar. Quarter cup of molasses. Two large tomato. And the tomato is from my garden, so it was frozen. But just use regular tomato. And the onion and the scallion and the pepper and the garlic. All spice pimento, water, about a cup of water. Two tablespoon of honey. teaspoon smoked paprika one tablespoon paprika Place in the pot to boil on low heat. Place the sauce on a low heat, cooking for at least 15 minutes. Now that our barbecue sauce is cooked, I'm just gonna put it on the meat and put it, the meat in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. I'm just basting the meat to put back in the oven. Basting the ribs. So, oh my God, this sauce smells so good. So, so good. You have to try this one. Family, you have to try this sauce. This sauce smells so good. And I'm gonna taste it too. I know it tastes delicious. I'm gonna taste it. So 30 minutes and this will be finished. Let me taste it. Mmm, oh my goodness, delicious, delicious, delicious. And it's smelling up the place, smelling up the place. There you have it family, your barbecue jerk spear ribs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell 
for all my upcoming video family love you wish you all the best bye